Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. And it's all about this powerful jet stream nailing the Pacific Northwest and then blowing that snow right into the uh, the interior. Or graphics are huge with this wind energy over the Tetons, into the Wasatch, into the central and northern mountains of Colorado. I want to start up in the Pacific Northwest, up at Timberline. Uh, and I still think you've got another couple of feet coming, but if you're familiar with The Shining, there it is. That's the that was the uh, the hotel used and it is just buried in heavy snow it was closed for a couple of days because there's so much snow up there and it's just going to continue to snow so again that's up at timberline up in oregon let me head to uh utah's wasatch this is a little cottonwood up there at alta reporting nine inches overnight uh, you've still got another foot, foot and a half to go. Tomorrow's going to be a huge powder day at Alta. One canyon over, big cottonwood. Here's Brighton. It's snowing, reporting four or five inches of new snow, and you've got more coming, obviously, tomorrow. will be outstanding. Uh, heading up into the Tetons here, this is Grand Targhee. It's snowing there, obviously. What a beautiful view it is at Grand Targhee. Jackson Hole, Grand Targhee, the Tetons are just going to get smashed all the way through the 8th. You've got a lot of snow yet to go there at Grand Targhee and Jackson Hole. Uh, into Colorado, Loveland Ski Area up on the Continental Divide. Uh, let me set the stage for you what conditions are up there right now. 12 degrees with 70 mile per hour gusts. You can see it. I mean, it's just like whiteout conditions up there. Wondering if that lift is even running Chet's dream right now. But I think, Lo I think it's a good setup for Loveland. Um, the tunnel, Berthet Pass, Winter Park, I think those areas will probably end up with at least a foot, if not a foot and a half to two feet in some of these places. Steamboat's also in, in a good position, Cameron Pass, if you're looking for a few places. So let me show you the uh, the storm track right here. And um, let me just let me change color. So this is just a powerful jet, absolutely pointing directly to the coast, and then like a northwest flow, slamming into the terrain features, the orographics, the Tetons, the Wasatch, the central and northern mountains of Colorado, Idaho, the Pacific Northwest, parts of BC, all these places in on the action. And when you look back here, there's a lot of moisture that's just being carried in on this flow into the into the, uh, the Pacific Northwest and into the interior. And you can see there's a ripple here, another ripple light right here, and all that is just getting shuttled in. So, And this lasts through probably the 7th or the 8th, and then after that, things change dramatically with high pressure moving in. But that's the current state of affairs. Let me show you what the future position of this precip is going to be. This is the GFS. So low spinning up in Colorado right now. All that snow intensifies in the Wasatch and the Tetons and in Colorado through tonight and into tomorrow morning. This is the view on Thursday morning. Still snowing. Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Idaho, Montana. New low hitting the Pacific Northwest and it's a good one. Um, let me take in Friday morning. Heavy snow, Pacific Northwest, British Columbia, Banff, um, down into Idaho again, all that, and then is on the move. And by the time we get into Friday night, Saturday, it's moving into the Tetons, the Wasatch, and into the central and northern mountains of Colorado with less snow in southern Colorado. Now, after this, that's it. That's the end of the storm track. We've got high pressure moving in, whole different weather pattern for quite a while. In fact, and I'll show you how dramatic it is with my forecast total. So we'll start, we'll do this in two time frames. First one is basically all of today through the 8th, one to two feet in central and northern mountains of Colorado. And you've got another two feet roughly to go uh, in the Wasatch. A lot of that's falling now through tonight and into tomorrow morning um, with another little impulse coming towards the weekend. Um, and then you've got another couple of three feet to go up there in the Tetons, another foot, Idaho, western parts of northwest Montana. Big snow up there, two, three feet yet to go up in the Pacific Northwest. Some good snow into the interior through Revelstoke and Fernie. Um, so yeah, I mean, things are good right now with this active storm track, but then look what happens after the 8th. The 9th through the 13th, it's just like, it's gone. Minimal snow, storm track shifts, High pressure moves in. You get the idea. Let me show you what my plume looks like for Jackson Hole. So heavy snow continues today, tonight, into tomorrow, and through the 7th, and then that's how you reach that, that total of about 38 inches of additional snow. It's happening right now. One more thing to look at. It's high winds. I mentioned them. They're there in Colorado. It's not just there. It's it's Rainier. It's Teton. It's all the 13ers, 14ers in Colorado. Utah's seeing wind up high uh, and that continues it's going to be gusty today tomorrow and on the 7th and then the winds start to uh, come down on the 8th and the 9th so there you go hope everyone finds some of this amazing snow out there take care be safe always appreciate you tuning in here